Hello and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will be discussing about how to give computers the ability to understand human language. Want to know more? Stick till the end of the video to find out. You are watching the Artificial Intelligence and Data Science channel. Subscribe for more amazing videos. Why has NLP become so important? Unstructured data is the largest human generated data which keeps growing exponentially. This can be in form of social media, medical records, internal reports, customer interaction, service case and log files. Companies can use this information to make decisions or take meaningful actions around an existing or an emerging issue. Considering the staggering amount of data, it would be impossible for humans to sit through all the pile of data and analysis. In this matter, automation will be critical to fully analyze the text and speech data efficiently. This is where NLP comes in. If computers can understand human language, they can analyze more language-based data than humans without fatigue in a constant and unbiased way. Natural language processing is a subfield of artificial intelligence, computer science and linguistics which is concerned with making computers understand human language. Natural language refers to the way we humans communicate with one another by means of text and speech. You might be thinking why a natural language is difficult to be processed by machines. Well, this is because in natural language, there are large diverse vocabularies, words with several different meanings, speakers with different accents and nuances. And also, a computer's native language or machine language is basically zeros and ones, which produce logical actions. So natural language processing was created with an objective of making computers read, decipher, understand and make meaningful insights from natural language. Most NLP techniques rely on machine learning to derive meaning from the human language. A typical interaction between a computer and a human would be as follows. Human talks to the machine, the machine captures the audio, audio text conversion takes place, processing of text data, data to audio conversion, and then machine responds back to the human by playing the audio file. To gain some more understanding in NLP, let us look at how human language is structured. The base of any human language are alphabets. Alphabets are grouped together to form words. Words are grouped together to form sentences and when grammar is applied to these sentences, it forms a meaningful sentence. For example, consider the sentence, Dave saw a man with glasses. Does it mean Dave saw a person who was wearing glasses or did Dave see a person when he wore his glasses? Hmm. Parsing refers to the way human beings analyze a sentence or a phrase in terms of its grammatical constituents, parts of speech and syntactic relations. Parse trees are constructed using phase structure rules. Phase structure rules are made using grammatical rules that when combined gives a sentence its meaning. Some examples of grammatical rules are as follows. A sentence can be made of a noun phrase and verb phrase. Noun phrase can be made of a determinant and a noun. Noun phrase can be made of a preposition. A verb phrase can be made of a verb and a noun phrase. And you can continue making rules like this for a language. Let us now see a sentence passing with the help of software. This allows a computer to better understand the data and process the responses accordingly. This is a process that happens when a voice search is done. There are two major components in NLP, Natural Language Understanding NLU and Natural Language Generation which is NLG. Natural Language Understanding deals with taking a sentence and finding out what they mean. A Natural Language Generation deals with producing meaningful sentences and phrases in the form of natural language. Natural language understanding is more complex than natural language generation as natural language has a lot of structural ambiguity 
and identifying the actual context might be a bit complex. Let us now look at the different applications of NLP. Sentiment Analysis NLP is used in social media suites such as Twitter, Facebook to analyze the different kinds of sentiment and categorize them into positive, negative or neutral sentiment. Twitter uses sentiment analysis to combat hate speech. Companies also use sentiment analysis to find how a particular product might be performing in the market based on the reviews by their customers. Spam Detection Spam detection technologies use NLP's text classification algorithm to scan emails for potential language that often indicates spam or phishing. These can include overused financial terms, bad grammar, misspelled names, inappropriate urgency, and more. Machine Translation Machine translation is the task of automatically converting one natural language to another. An effective machine translation algorithm accurately captures the meaning of the tone of the input language and then translates it to the text with the same meaning to give the desired impact. Machine translation tools are making great progress in terms of accuracy. Google Translate is a commonly used machine translation tool. Chatbots You might be familiar with chatbots as many of the companies have deployed chatbots to help improve customer service and the process behind this is NLP technology. Chatbots analyze type text entries provided by humans to provide appropriate responses. Chatbots learn the input of users and use it to improvise themselves over time. An advancement to this can be in the form of question answering, that is, given a human language question, determine its answer. Speech recognition Many of the commonly used voice assistant systems such as Google Assistant, Siri, Cortana use speech recognition to understand natural language and patterns in the voice to respond with an appropriate action or use natural language generation to generate an output. Text summarization. Text summarization techniques use NLP to create summaries and synopsis from huge volumes of digital text. Advanced systems use semantic reasoning and natural language generation to add useful context and conclusion to summaries. Spell check. Another common use application of natural language processing is spell checking. NLP technologies are used in text to analyze the content and see if any of the words need correction. It then proposes a correction or a list of words for users to choose from. Ring any bells? Grammarly is a spell checking software that also checks for grammar in the sentence that you type by analyzing your content. The techniques used in NLP can broadly be classified into syntactic analysis and semantic analysis. Syntactic analysis focuses on the arrangement of words and makes sure they will align with the grammatical rules. Computer algorithms are used to apply grammatical rules to a group of words and derive meaning from them. Semantic analysis refers to the meaning conveyed in a text. It involves applying computer algorithms to interpret the words and understand the structure of the text. Let us now look at the different terminologies associated with these techniques. Tokenization Tokenization is a process of separating a piece of text into smaller units called tokens. The tokens can be words, characters, subwords, also called as engrams. Sentence tokenization refers to breaking down a piece of text into individual sentences. Word tokenization refers to breaking down a piece of text into words. Stemming Stemming is one of the important processes in natural language processing and it is a process of converting a word into its base form or root form by removing the suffixes. Stemming is used mainly for information retrieval and extraction. As you can see from the example, study, studies, studied and studying have been converted to the root form study. Feel free to pause the video to check out the examples. Lemmatization Lemmatization is a process of converting the text into its meaningful base or lemma by considering its context. It is very similar to stemming but unlike stemming, lemmatization depends on correctly identifying the intended parts of speech and meaning of a word in a sentence as well as the context surrounding it. When comparing lemmatization with stemming, lemmatization maintains a whole word as a lemma instead of converting it into its root form. Part of speech tagging Part of speech tagging or peer tagging, also known as grammatical tagging, is a process of assigning parts of speech such as noun, verb, adjective, etc. to a text. It helps to understand how a word functions in a sentence in terms of meaning as well as grammatically, as a word can have more than one meaning based on the context and the part of speech. Chunking Chunking is a process of picking up individual pieces of information from a sentence and grouping them together to form larger chunks. Chunking works on top of peers tagging as it uses peers tags as input and provides chunks as output. Chunks can be of the form noun phrase, verb phrase, etc. 
Chunking is very important process for named entity recognition. Chinking. Chinking is a process of removing a sequence of tokens from a chunk. If the whole chunk is not needed, then the whole chunk is removed. If a sequence of words are in the middle of chunk that needs to be removed, only those tokens are removed. Named Entity Recognition Named Entity Recognition, also known as Named Entity Identification or Named Entity Extraction, is an NLP technique that automatically identifies named entities and classifies them into predefined categories. This can be mainly used to extract key information from the text and to identify its content. Entities can be people, organization, location, time, quantity, percentage, and more. Say for example, Steve starts a new EV car production unit in India. Here Steve is referred to as a person, EV car is a company, and India is a location. NLTK Natural Language Toolkit Python programming language provides a great deal of tools and libraries for various NLP tasks. Many of them are found in Natural Language Toolkit. The NLTK consists of libraries for sentence parsing, word segmentation, stemming, lemmatization, tokenization, semantic reasoning, etc. NLP applications are becoming more and more common in our everyday lives, and as more and more research is being carried out in this field, we hope to see more breakthroughs that will make machines smarter at recognizing human language. Hope you got a basic idea about natural language processing technologies and comment below your thoughts on this topic. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. See you in the next video.